Hi there, this is Ron Wade with IDT again, and uh, we're back with an update for PCI Express. Um, we're going to give you an update on the data rates and the history of the data rates uh, quickly, and then we'll talk about some of the implications of Gen 3 and 4 um, in uh, the next couple of slides. So, what we have is a history of the data rates for PCI Express. We have uh, the Gen 1, which was a, a 2.5 gigabit per second transfer rate, um, there was Gen 2 at 5 gig and PCI Express likes to double the data rate every generation so uh, Gen 3 went to 8 gig and that does not look like a doubling but what it actually was is that the original two generations used uh, something called 4B, 5B encoding which meant that this 5 gigabit uh, data rate uh, because of the 4B, 5B encoding for the error correction uh, only was doing 4 gigabits of data with Gen 3, they went to a much longer, uh, they went to a polynomial approach to um, error correction and uh, a much longer coding structure to get an actual 8 gigabit data rate for Gen 3. So, in reality, the data throughput did double from 5 gig um, at Gen 2 to 8 gig at Gen 3. And then beginning with Gen 3, because the uh, encoding um, for the error correction is now, has now been fixed, uh, Gen 4 uses the same structure and the data rate actually is doubled as you would expect from 8 to 16 gig. Gen 5 uses the same basic error correction structure again and the data rate is doubling from 16 to um, 32 gigabits per second when Gen 5 gets deployed.